We are on the banks of the Assiniboine River, which flows into the Red not too far away, and which flows into Hudson's Bay much further away. These rivers and banks have been the highways and gathering places of this area for thousands upon thousands of years. This school is built on Treaty 1 territory. These lands are the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Aniniwak, Dakota, and Nakota nations and the homeland of the Métis Nation. We are grateful to the Indigenous peoples for their stewardship of this land and the hospitality that enables our community to learn, worship, and serve God the Creator here. We acknowledge the harms that the settler community has brought upon the Indigenous peoples of this land. As a school grounded in the peace tradition, we want to work for reconciliation. Has the river flooding ever affected the school? If so, how did you solve it and how what happened? It didn't affect the school, but we were worried it was going to affect the school. So what would happen if the water did get inside the school? Well, I guess it would have risen. Everything would come in. There would be no way to get the water out of the school. So we would have to wait for the water to recede, and then we would have had a major cleanup, but be mold problems, all a million dollar thing, because the floor would have been wrecked. Due to our school being located by the river, our school is affected by erosion. Erosion is a natural process that happens along shorelines, embankments, rock formations, and when runoff from heavy rain carries away the top layers of soil. We live in Winnipeg, which gets a lot of snow each year that usually melts pretty quickly, so we are susceptible to flooding. Each year we have to close the field because of the issue, which makes it difficult for younger students to release energy and focus on learning. We went to talk to the younger classes about our project. You might be thinking, what is our solution to this problem? We started to look into solutions and found that planting trees would be a good way to help reduce flooding and prevent further erosion. We did some research about trees and how to help with flooding and how it connects to a riparian forest. Tree roots help the trees get more water. They are called root hair and act as a drag on water floods, holding back water and slowing the flow at times of flooding. As we live in a riparian forest, which is a plant-based ecosystem next to or surrounded by a body of water, it is managed differently than land-based ecosystems due to certain benefits such as the water quality and offering an environment for special types of wildlife to live in, such as birds, a prey, deer, and beavers. Protecting the plant life in these environments is a vital part of maintaining the beauty and wonders of Winnipeg. Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on We can't wait to see our trees in their new homes, flourishing in their new surroundings.